Oh my gosh, y'all. While well, I'm on my morning walk and I'm passing by this water and I just started to get emotional. <sighs> But I literally did not expect that. You know how you pass by something and then, or you hear something and the sound of it brings back a wave of memories. And that water is a place that when I was sad or when I was going through something, as my kids were, you know, babies or toddlers or whatever, I would bring them here and let them play and it's almost as if them playing in the water the sound of the water would drown out the feeling of me drowning on the inside like because i used to be so overwhelmed i used to be so exhausted and tired and just feeling unappreciated and used and scared like I can like say so many different words but <laughs> I remember just praying for peace and I remember just praying to be able to take care of my children and <sighs> now yeah. I'm still walking and my children are older like Bryce is gonna be 11 on Tuesday. My baby is growing up. And my mind is gonna be 16 the week after that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, so much time. So much time has went by. So much time. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, I feel like it has been wasted but not really wasted, like it's just so many memories. So many memories. And I just wanna keep creating good memories with my babies. Oh Lord, hold on. <laughs> I'm about two miles into my walk, almost 4,000 steps in. But I just wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to capture that moment because like, I feel like I've come so far. I've done so much. And I know in these last vlogs, I've just been so proud of myself today. I woke up, I told y'all yesterday, I just decided that I was gonna really accomplish this 30 day goal. I was going to get up. Regardless, I'm gonna get these 10,000 steps a day in to get myself back aligned, back tapped in, back tuned in, back turned on, back turned up and I'm gonna do what I have to do. So this morning, I didn't set no alarm because I was tired, I went to sleep late. And I was like, if I get up, I get up. No discipline at all. But be, like my body literally just woke up and like ate something. And I just jumped out of bed and it was like, get your ass up, get going. And so that's what I'm doing. So very thankful, very grateful. And I've just been enjoying this walk, enjoying my beautiful city, enjoying this view, enjoying my thoughts, thanking God, praising God, and just doing my thing, you know? So let's get back to it. Enjoy the montage. <laughs> Got a drop on this flexin nigga. He from Tennessee. I had a thought. She be with this shit. She told me where he be. I say for show. Baby, let me know if you wanna eat. She like bomb. You already know. Just put your girl on fleet. I'm like cool. I can do that, boo. What you want some shoes? Jimmy Choo. What I had back to. Red a baby boo. She get the smile. She ain't used to this. She ain't used to shit. I'm just laughing. Could've been the way I put my lips. I be speeding. Could've. 
could have been the driver, the way I pushed the whip, you a hoe, could have been a bitch, the way you throw a bitch, but fuck that, right back to the script, cause this a major league, he got bricks, plus his neck and icy, and it matches his now it's like six, told her hit his phone, meet her in the whip, but he ain't go, but he ain't that slow, say meet him at the snow, I'm like cool, let him run his move, do what he gon' do, cause this the plot, put him in the pot, let it cook like stew, I grab my Glock, if it do a lot, but it's this you like new, we at the top, yeah we lost a lot, but that's just how it go, but check the scope, if y'all lose one more, that's 6 to 24, let me focus, can't be zoning out, he pulling up, now he double pop, he ain't getting out, he in that push to stop, that new Porsche, it's built like a horse, colors like a four, he got a ring, I guess he is. Okay babies, so. I done done like 9,000 steps at this point. I think I've done 4.3 miles. Um, I ran into Raven actually during my walk and Raven and I hadn't talked in a long time. So when we ran into each other, <laughs> we, I don't even know how to, how to start this off right now. But I'ma just say this, like God, is an amazing God. God is an amazing God. God is an amazing God. And you will get all of your questions answered. If you ask, you shall receive. Okay? If you seek, you shall find. And this morning, randomly, I told y'all, I decided to start this 30-day channel. And I got my butt up at the crack of dawn I came to be near this water and I came to get my 10,000 steps in and this is day one and I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to be disciplined just as disciplined as I've been as in standing my word and learning more about myself, about my walk with God and about Jesus and all of that. But I say all that to say this, I'm a little tired, I'm a little windy y'all. I'm walking this morning and I was at a point where I was like ready to just call it a day because I'm like oh my gosh I just got straight into this I didn't like plan for this I just decided I'm gonna get my butt up and then go walk and I'm gonna do 10,000 steps at that and so I started to walk in a way that I had never been before I started to walk down a path that was new to me and I was discovering new things right and so as I'm walking I'm really just enjoying myself I find it easy to you know get these steps in and i'm just enjoying the breeze i'm enjoying the sun i'm enjoying the wind i'm enjoying just watching people do their jobs the city workers out like everything and so um i got to where i was like halfway through and i was like i could go this way i can go that way but something said no go back the way you came and so i went that way and as i'm walking down that path i'm running to raven and so like i said me and raven we haven't talked and so when we saw each other, I'm just like, hmm, God is funny. I'm like, God is, is funny. You know what I'm saying? And so we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk for about 30 or 40 minutes and came to an understanding with some things, said our peace and let it be what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I think that I have learned along my path in life like the value of people being in my life the value of me being in other people's life and the value that people bring to me and the value that i bring to them you know what i'm saying and i've learned a lot about being um a good person a good friend a good sister a good daughter like just overall being able to put my pride to the side and communicate better and stuff like that. And so, if it's not coming out or flowing in the way that I want it to flow, that means it's not fully ready for me to um, go down that road with you guys. But I say that to say, like, when I open my journal this right now, it says, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, his truth is endured to all generations. So that's Psalms 100 verse 5. For the Lord is good, his unfailing love continues forever, and his faithfulness continues to each generation. And so it says, the privileges of knowing God. The psalmist's invitation has several affirmations. 
these speak to us of the privilege of access. The three verbs are of increasing access to God. Shout, worship, and come before him. We greet him from afar, we worship him, and then we come right to where he is. The people of God of, of God are welcomed into the presence of God with joy. And our approach is joyful because that of what God has done for us. We know him by name. He made us and has redeemed us. He is our shepherd and we are his people to sheep his pasture. So this is talking about the power of having the privilege to have access to certain people, right? It's really talking about the power of the privilege of having access to God. Hold on. I had to get myself together because I, I feel like at this moment, I still got like a little bit of anxiety. And so I didn't want to seem as if I'm like over speaking my adrenaline up. Um, it was pretty much like a deep conversation, but I just find it interesting that this is the sermon that I've turned to today. And so I'm just gonna read Psalms 101 and I'm gonna let it sit there and then I'm gonna leave that where it's at, okay? Take with it as you will. I will sing a song of your love and justice, Lord. I will praise you with songs. I will be careful to live a blameless life. When will you come help me? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all who deal crookedly. I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbors. I will not endure conceit and pride. I will search for your faithful people to be my companions. Only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. I will not allow deceivers to serve in my house and liars will not stay in my presence. My daily task will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord from their grip. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my plea. Don't turn away from me. In my time of distress, bend down to listen. Answer me quickly when I call to you. I don't know if I'm going to put this far in because I feel like my words are all over the place and I'm trying to understand. And I don't want to feel like that I'm trying to force anything or make anything not what it is. But I just feel like everything happens for a reason. And so I'm going to study this word some more and learn more about the privileges of knowing God. And read what the psalmist is, psalmist, psalmist invitation and their affirmation for and then I'm gonna go from there, so. Yeah. You can bank on it. You can put a hundred grand on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp. Let me show y'all how fast God will check you when it comes to something. I was gonna get ready for my Bible up, and I will avoid it. I was talking to y'all about something. And I turn my Bible and it falls on this page and it said Proverbs 20 19. It says a gossip goes around telling secrets so they don't hang around with chatter. And so if you guys know I went through um, an issue about a year ago where I got caught up in a situation where basically I was gossiping right and I had to learn my lesson about that. And so the Bible says, avoid a gossip, Proverbs 20, 19. The Bible calls us to high standards of speech because God is the God of truth. We are to be people of truth. Gossip is condemned in the Bible because the behavior is contrary to God's character and thus his ethical standard. His ethical standard. Proverbs defines gossip as the trend of secret. It is often paired with slander which is intentionally sharing false or damaging information about someone. So, intentionally sharing false or damaging information about someone. So, it ain't necessarily got to be a lie, because that's what slander is. But even if it's damaging to somebody's character, it's still considered gossip or slander, right? So, gossip 
tears friendships apart, stirs anger, and erodes trust. Liars and wrongdoers are drawn to it, while the wise refuse to hear it. Gossip involves both content and intent. We are guilty of gossip when we share confidential or unconfirmed details about someone, or when we share information with malicious and damaging motive, motives or intent. We live in a world that delights in gossip and slander. We are bombarded with headlines, exposing people's secrets and spreading accusations. As God's people, we must pursue truth, 1222, and distance ourselves from gossip, Proverbs 2019. Our words have the power to tear someone down or build them up. We must take care that our own speech is not used destructively but edifies others as we point them to Jesus. And y'all hear them sirens, like this is a message right here. When I first joined TLC, we learned about edification. And to edify somebody is basically, if we are going somewhere, or we going to an event, or if I'm bringing somebody on stage, I'm going to edify that person. I'm going to beat them up. I'm going to tell you all the good things about this person, and I'm going to tell you their good quality, their characteristics, and when they come back on stage, they are to return that edification. They are to edify me and then go on with what's going on, right? And so if you watch one of my last vlogs, I was talking about how people are like so quick to judge and like people want to talk about you or say things about you or accuse you of certain things or they always want to make assumptions. And this brings me to this. I'm saying all this to say, you know how Jack Hanna is blocking people because of them coming to congratulate her on something that she never even posted about or even how the pages be making videos assuming what's going on in my life it's supposed to be like a reaction but instead it turned into gossip because you making assumptions right you are putting out false accusations or you putting out damaging information and it has malicious intent behind it because you want to be messy in order to gain an audience, right? And I think it's interesting because my whole life, um, I have been one to avoid gossip. I don't like gossip. But I realize now how and why I feel that way. Like, I'm just a person that I love the truth. I stand on the truth. So sometimes I think that it can be, the lines can be, Blur because with me, I feel like if I'm telling the truth, if I'm speaking on the truth, then I'm not gossiping because I'm telling a is with this type of situation. But in my situation, when I end up saying these things, although I was telling the truth about certain things, I was not doing it in the best way, and then end up I had to learn a, a really big lesson about it. But I say all that to say this, y'all everything that we got a question about, everything that we be talking about, and we when you ask God for something, when you ask God to answer a question or whatever, the answer always comes. You seek and you shall find. I literally was putting my Bible up and this says, a gospel goes around telling secrets so don't hang around with chatter. If you insult your father or mother, your light will be snuffed out in total darkness. An inheritance obtained too early in life is not a blessing in the end. Don't say, I will get even for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to handle the matter. The Lord detests double standards. He is not pleased by this on his scale. The Lord directs our steps, so why try to understand everything along the way? Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God and only labor later counting the cost. A wise king scatters the wicked like wheat, then runs his threshing will over them. <laughs> the Lord's light penetrates the human spirit exposing every hidden motive the truth would always come out the truth will always come out the truth would always come out but this goes as it we'll talk about it oh my goodness great rising babies great rising great rising so i don't even think I talked to y'all last night once I got, um, I don't even think I actually like talked on the vlog after I left the park. 
So just a little rundown before I get outside and go do my 10,000 steps again today. I did finish them. I'm letting my phone charge because I went to sleep last night and my phone was not on a charger. But, okay. So after I got done at the park, I came to the house, got some Dunkin's. Baby, that mango pineapple refresher at Dunkin's, I done tried it all three ways. The green tea, the sweet tea, the lemonade. Either way you get it, that refresher is amazing. The mango pineapple refresher from Dunkin's. Love, 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 love. I'm probably going to get it again today <laughs> because y'all know I'm a creature of habit. Once I like something, I kind of keep doing it. And that's how I got hooked on the freaking Starbucks because I'm a creature of habit. I'm a creature of habit. But it is pumpkin spice season, so I do got me some pumpkin spice coffee. After I come from my walk, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make me some pumpkin spice coffee. And then I'll get a refresher like later in the day if I see fit or whatever because I want to utilize my coffee because <laughs> it's coffee season. And then I got the pumpkin spice hair going on. Like, I think I'm going to keep this color for a while, guys. Um, the braids, the braids probably got like another week. I only wanted to make them last up until Bryce's birthday because I know what I wanted to do for his birthday. And I didn't want to feel like dealing with a wig. And then I think my hair would have been up for like a full complete month by then. Um, girl when i say i've been so lazy when it comes to this hair and i absolutely love it like i be i'm able to wake up and not look a mess but i still be looking rough because i ain't brushed my edges or nothing so yes hello hey y'all you go what listen to this she's so cute it's it's ridiculous but anyways um I'm finna get ready to go get my 10K steps in. Um, I'm going to be putting on some sunglasses this morning. And when I get up to do this, y'all, I don't really show y'all my routine, but I just really get up, brush my teeth, brush my teeth, brush my face, brush my face. I'm still asleep. I get up, I brush my teeth, wash my face, and nine times out of ten, I don't do my in-depth skincare routine before I go because I did skincare last night. So I really just wipe my face with uh, like a warm rag, and then um I put my sunscreen on, put my sunscreen on, and then it's time to go out the door. So that's pretty much what I do when it comes to that. And then now I'm about to get ready to take my NRG and my NutriBurst so that I can have a boost of energy um while I'm on this track. Tonight, I might... Oh, no, I can't drink no detox tea tonight. If I drink some detox tea, I'm going to have to drink it now. Because I'm probably going to make me some detox tea. That's going to be my water, my hydration. I'm going to make me some water and I'm going to make me some detox tea. Um, because I need to drink it now. I haven't drunk detox tea in probably over a month. So, yeah, we're going to get back on that to get back to being, like, regular. Especially since we are doing this challenge. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is to like ease into it because when you try to put pressure on yourself and when you try to say like, oh, I got to do this, 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 and this, and then you try to like make it, da, 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 it somehow flips your brain to say, do the opposite. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my ADHD. Who knows? But great rising, y'all. Great rising. Um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for the love that y'all been showing on my videos. I have been blocking a whole lot of weirdos because why are you being weird? Why are you being weird to me? Um, I block them. Okay. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get this over with, get this done. Um, oh, I don't know if I even showed y'all. I did get some flowers yesterday and it was so cute. Like, so, 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 so cute. I'm going to answer a picture of what it actually came, like, looking like. Because, baby, I love you. You my everything. It's so, so cute. Sunflowers and roses hit. I got to arrange these in the damn vase. And this is not even a vase, y'all. <laughs> I got to arrange these better, so... I just wanted to show y'all in it, how it looks right here, but this is so freaking cute. So anyways, about to go ahead and get out in these streets. Like I said, it is later in the morning. It's 8.56 this morning. So we finna get out here and we finna get it done. Bae, I love you. You my everything. And this is what your girl 
it's looking like straight ahead. Mm hmm. We're trying to show your upper body. Per. <laughs> oh, got your breath leaking. My fingers up on a bang on him. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah. On a scale of one through ten, I give the cereal probably like uh, maybe a seven point five. I'm a golden gram kind of girl. To be honest, um, it's good though. Inside, I be needing more of a crunch. Maybe if I mix some fruity pebbles in here or something. But I mean, it is good. Not a seven point five. Mm -hmm. Hi babies, so I just got out of the shower. Y'all, look at my little side of my hair. It's actually growing. I couldn't believe that she had gripped this when she actually did grip it. Because if y'all go back to my blog when I first came back, I had told you how I was um really going through it at that time. That was like in June. And I was okay. I told y'all how I was really going through it at that time and I was um picking my hair. So I had a big decision to make, a big, big decision to make, and I made it. But two of my braids on this side came out. They slid off. And y'all know once the braids get older, they start sliding or whatever anyway. So I just been kind of hiding it because that's the side that I wear my hair on and right now i'm taking my good molecules um nice cinnamide brightening toner and toning my face i'm gonna get ready to go to the nail salon get these nails taken off because i'm tired of looking at it and i'm tired of being lazy so we are exiting our lazy era and about to enter a major glow up era <laughs> okay so yeah that's just what i'm doing a little skincare before i go out i'm not even doing the whole freaking thing um this is some discoloration serum that's by good molecules as well and these products have been very much so worth the coin um they are inexpensive not that expensive at all and i actually really really like them so no makeup today just some good skincare I'm going to brush my hair. I'm going to put on some earrings. I'm going to put on a necklace. I'm going to put on an outfit. And I'm going to look presentable, okay? Because I know in the last couple of shots, I was given very much bummy. Another two things that I really, 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 really like, and I really don't talk about much, y'all, is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Serum. This Magic Serum is like a plumping serum and this um super fusion facial oil this right here y'all this stuff right here makes my face look so hydrated and puffy and not puffy but it it just it provides collagen so basically this has collagen in it and it just gives me that like little bounce that you be needing like i'm gonna show y'all i'm not gonna put on the serum i'm just put on the oil Do 
this stuff. I love now these these two things very expensive not so demure <laughs> not so cutesy you know very cutesy not so demure okay but be very mindful of what it does for this skin because baby look at that instant glow charlotte know what she's doing when it comes to skincare products she knows what she's doing when it comes to makeup in general because there are so many of her things that i absolutely just love and adore but this my dear mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm gonna go ahead and put on some of the serum to give that extra little boost so when i get outside today baby is giving hydration this serum is infused with rexiplexum serum for younger looking miracle skin so yeah <sighs> oh yes all right and y'all know something that i've been really into lately like into into is taking care of my hands i had this scar that came on my ring finger and it was so freaking ugly because my ring had um got caught up and i hit it and it made a big ugly mark so i've been putting this la roche pose the triple repair moisturizing cream on my hands every single day morning and night and rubbing it in and just massaging it in and it's really been helping my hands so i'm definitely realizing that i'm at the age where i can't just be putting on lotion you actually have to do something to make sure that your like your decollete your neck your hands and stuff stay moisturized because we don't have this good skin forever you know what i'm saying and it's better to do preventative care than to do repair okay it's better to re prevent than repair and that's the same as even with weight loss because baby once we got the weight it's hard to get it off but honey i'm excited about this 10k stealth challenge because i've been doing my thing and this is just some um sunscreen that i just put on it's my black girl sunscreen the matte one make it matte i love this one it's for the space specifically it's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's a spf of 45 so make sure you guys are putting on your sunscreen well i'm gonna throw something on brush my hair and we are finna get out the dough out the dough okay and i'm gonna just put this on the back of my hand like that and rub these in because baby there's a thing i want to oh yes now let's go get these hands taken care of period mm. okay babies so i just threw on a t-shirt and some jean shorts and i'm about to put on my fragrance of the day i'm wearing the jimmy Choo. i want you um it's like my base and then you know to give me that little summery scent i'm pairing it with the good scent by the solar floor or whatever y'all yeah, know the good scent solar floral that's my hair scent and my all over scent so i'm gonna head out the door um i was thinking about putting this purse with it but i don't know all the oranges are different but who the hell cares girl who cares <sighs> we just going to the nail salon and i don't know what i'm gonna do about my hair for tomorrow because baby I gotta go to brunch and my hair is a fool. It's an absolute fool. But let's just take one thing at a time. Let's go get these nails taken off and then we'll go from there because I can't think at this moment. I cannot think. Uh, I can't think. So let's go get our nails done. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for choosing Dunkin'. How can I help you? Oh my goodness, y'all. I had stopped at Dunkin's and got um, the pineapple mango refresher that I was telling y'all about. Woo! Girl, I love it. I also got me another thing of water because it's my second refill of the day. I'm trying to up my water intake. But I ain't gonna hold y'all. They refresh. I told y'all. I'm a creature of habit, so I have to do things. But I got in my car. Mad as hell. 
Why when I crank it up? No gas. I hate stopping at a gas station. I hate putting putting gas in my car. Like it's just, oh yeah, I can't stand it. But anyways, off to the nail salon we go. I ate my chicken roasted pepper wrap and I'm good. So I'm great. I'm better than good. <laughs> Let's go get to the nail salon. Where my bad bitch is I'm free and a motherfucker. Hawks be looking okay. Yeah. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> he said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I ain't bargain. I ain't bargain. I ain't bargain. I'm free and a motherfucker. Hawks be looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. Down south, bad bitches, screech shit, so ratchet. Call me JT, aka the soul. Yeah, I just ran into um, a girl that I went to school with, and she was like, Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. But she immediately got into like, I'm surprised you're still in check. And every time everybody sees me, they say that exact same thing. And I'm like, Only if y'all knew. Only if y'all knew. I be surprising me too. But the bigger part of the message that she said, she was like, I be watching you on social media. And she said, You've been the same since middle school. She said, You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And you're doing exactly what I thought you would be doing. And I was like, Yeah, just carefree. And she was like, Exactly. Just being yourself. And she was like, I'm proud of you. And it just made me feel so. Back to my nails. Okay. men. Okay. I've been out I'm working on the field. Shout out to men and you're a housewife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they can they can pick them to marry you and then they go. Yeah. Give your paycheck and go go party. That's what I look like. I used to be. I always clean up and my knuckle never look bad. So look, I'm not gonna clean anymore. Look at my hands so bad. I know. My, my dad me. always say, honey. When a man looking for a wife, uh -huh. the first thing they go and they look at your hand to see if you have your, your hand. They only pick the white looking like this. They don't look white. They're looking please? pretty. And I say, oh, I feel good that I'm gonna be able. A yeah. man gonna pick me. <laughs> it was a trick. I don't care if man pick me. I don't. I won't marry him. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> look, I just wish you were like you know? yeah. her my all the time and finally she picked. This color, this color, and this color. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Men, men will pick uh, somebody no like this. Rock yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, okay. they want you to this work. Is, yeah, yeah. They want you to work and clean for them. Yeah. I'm, I'm so, so stupid. They believe in my, my dad, and then I cook and clean and sit on the floor and scrubbing the floor. Yeah. You said now you don't care. We're yeah, not doing yeah, yeah. that. Men pick, pick okay. it because I have rock hand and I'm not marrying him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I go around and I feel like I'm the best. All oh, my sisters, oh, you have put in your men, they not gonna pick you as a wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have five brothers and sisters. I mean, not five, five girls in the family. Five girls. The living style in back home, we, we it's like this, and somebody see you naked or something, you have to marry it. Really? <laughs> they like you. That's how it is, and you, where you're from? Yeah, back then. Yeah. See, everything is so uh, conservative. Okay. Yeah. But what about you get raped yet? You have to marry me, but nobody marry you. <laughs> wow. So now we do it because we're just trying to impress ourselves. I like American living style. You like it, the living style? Yeah, sometimes we miss it back then, but you know, that without the old way, that there's no new way. Like you improve that's and back. At that time, that's the only way we know. Right. So back then, uh, everything we do, uh, that what we know at the time. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. For you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Sitting next to you Y'all, we headed into Ulta 
one it's about to be a severe thunderstorm and so i really just wanted to come in here and see if they had that new libre scent but i don't even know if ultra carry libre i just didn't feel like going to smile because it's crowded y'all and i ain't feel like going to support so let's go in here Oh, they have a new scent, y'all. Okay, so they only have it online. They don't got it in store yet. So when it comes in the store, she said maybe in like a week or so, we'll come back and we'll smell it. But right now it's just online. So I'm gonna go to my mom's house and take Mariah this um she needs some pads y'all but tell me why mm -hmm. that new so de janeiro it's all right i don't know what this i don't know what these scents are that i'm smelling so let me let it sit for a second and then we'll get into that it's three o'clock y'all and look how freaking dark it is it is gonna pull the hill down Ooh. In the heat press, y'all. In the heat press, I was talking about like seventy dollars. First of all, it's almost Mama's birthday, <laughs> but skip birthday. She already on a Christmas list. <laughs> you better be on them grades. They on. They on. They, yes, but no wait for real though. Like when you buy my clothes, which one? I don't know how long they take to ship. Um. Uh, <laughs>